Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned to shoot from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem El Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And I'm pretty much is going to be a quick lesson, you know, an update on the BRICS nations, you know, a.k.a. end time prophecy. And this is the title of the um, article. If you want to search it up, it's called BRICS finally abandons USD for global trade settlement. Now, a quick backstory before I get into the article. After the Bretton Woods Agreement in 1944, the United States dollar became the world reserve um, currency meaning what that countries conducted international trade and bought oil using the american dollar all right i'm going to read this thing um briefly real quick it says why is the dollar king it says there are several factors that have led to the dollar maintaining its international reserve currency status which right now that's in jeopardy because of the BRICS nations they don't want to conduct international trade and buy oil using the United States dollar anymore. They want to come up with their own currency that's backed by gold. <clears throat> All right. So it says one is the so-called petrodollar. The vast majority of the world's oil transactions occur in dollars. So now the BRICS nations, they want to step away from buying using the United States dollar. Right. It says, as the global oil trade amounts to billions of dollars per day and all countries need energy, this creates a great deal of demand for dollars to facilitate these transactions. All right, now we can get into the article. So this is dealing with the BRICS nations. The B stands for Brazil. R stands for Russia. I for India. C for China. S for South Africa, right? And now you got even more nations that want to be a part of the BRICS nations, right? So this is a breakdown of what this article is going into. It says BRICS plans to abandon the U.S. dollar for global trade using local currencies instead. So whatever currency, you know, Brazilians use to buy and sell, they want to use that currency to um, conduct international trade and to buy oil. Same is going to go for Russia, India, you know, um, China and South Africa and whatever other other nations want to be a part of the BRICS nations, right? It says, this initiative aims to boost local economies and assert independence from Western economic influence. Now, why is all this even going on? Because America put sanctions on Russia. So now you see the domino effect. Now these countries are in fear that if America puts sanctions on them, you know, there's certain things that they can't do. So they're seeing how America is um, treating Russia, and now this is the consequence for that, right? So it says, yep, an upcoming summit in Johannesburg, which is in South Africa, will discuss expanding an alliance and defining guidelines for new members, right? New BRICS Nation members. It says the line has been drawn in the sand and BRICS nations have made a stand that could shake the global financial landscape. The alliance of Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa is putting forth an initiative to abandon the U.S. dollar for global trade, opting instead to strengthen their local economies through cross-border transactions using local currencies. Right. It says this decision aimed at keeping their native currencies in control marks a turning point that could have far reaching effects. It says a new era for local economies. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So the BRICS nations and, you know, the alliance of more nations that want to be a part of the BRICS nations, they want to use their local currencies, meaning whatever country you go to and they have their own form of currency, that's what they want to use amongst each other to conduct international trade and to buy oil all right so this is all bible prophecy so this is in the nlt version 
Ezekiel 7 and verse 19 because this is very hard hitting and um you know we talked about this for years about the de-dollarization you know the um, the American dollar collapsing this is what the de-dollarization is about when you hear you know updates <clears throat> concerning the BRICS nations that's what that's leading to the collapse of the US dollar all right this is Ezekiel 7 and 19 it says they will throw their money in the streets. Why? Because eventually the demand for it is going to go down. It's going to become worthless. Nobody's not going to conduct international trade using the U.S. dollar. Right. So it's going to become worthless. It says tossing it out like worth worthless trash. The same way how you see in um, Venezuela um, concerning the inflation, the hyperinflation. You know, their money is pretty much worthless. They have to use other currencies, mainly the American dollar over there. The same thing is going to happen over here. The day is going to come. You're going to look out the window and you're going to see hundred dollar bills just just blowing in the air and nobody's not going to go for it. Right. It says their silver and their gold won't save them. Yeah. Just because you hoard up gold and silver, that doesn't mean that that's going to replace the U.S. dollar. Because we have to go according to prophecy. You know, the, the central bankers, which are the Edomites, the so-called white man they see line of Rothschilds, right? They want people to use the central bank digital currency when they completely worldwide make it a legal tender. Meaning that's the way how you buy yourself. Like how people use fiat currency, they want to do away with that and they want to introduce CBDCs. And this is why different countries, they was going through a pilot testing program, testing out the mechanics of the CBDC. All right. So in order for you to use the central bank digital currency, you're going to have to receive what the Bible calls the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip implant. Why? Because the CBDC, which is programmable money, once again, it could be programmed on a device. And there's plenty of articles that have come out. There's plenty of economists that have pretty much warned people about this, all right? They want to introduce a CBDC microchip implant. So this is the next and last phase of their plan before the destruction of Babylon the Great, all right? So I'm going to read it one more time from the top. Ezekiel 7 and 19 in the NLT. They will throw their money in the streets, tossing it out like worthless trash. Their silver and gold won't save them on that day of the Lord's anger. Exactly. And especially during Jacob's trouble. The scriptures tell you what? Riches profit not in the day of the Lord's wrath. Why? Because it's a stumbling block unto them. America will experience an economic collapse in the form of Jacob's trouble. And that's all hell breaking loose. It says, I will neither, it will neither satisfy nor feed them. For their greed can only trip them up. Why? Because it's a stumbling block. So let these people think, you know, let these people laugh now, but they're going to be crying later. Pursuant to Luke, the sixth chapter, right? Now, I'm going to finish it off with these. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 7. It says Babylon, and this Babylon is talking about, it's talking about Babylon the Great, which is America. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. And how did America make all the earth drunken? You know, through its religion, you know, its democracy, the westernization, the different philosophies, do as thou will spirit, right? The idolatry, the sodomite agenda, you know, the lies and deception, the adultery that goes on, the covetousness, the murder, how this place was established, all right, so forth and so on. It made all the earth drunken. Why? Because all these different countries, they're mimicking America, which is destroying their country. Right. So it says the nations, the nations have drunken of her wine. Right. The different philosophies that westernization. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, because it's destroying, you know, their old traditions of doing things. Right. It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed and we're, we're getting to that point you know it's, it's a build-up before the physical destruction by thermonuclear missiles it says 
Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain, if so she may be healed? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. So this place can't be healed economically and financially. This place is going to go through an economic collapse. And that's why they have terms like the Great Global Reset, which is all a part of their plan anyway. They want to cause an economic collapse in order to bring in an entirely new system, which is going to be a cashless digital society. And what they want to do is they want to merge people to the system by implanting the non-elect with these RFID chip implants, right? So it says, forsake her, yep, forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. Yeah, so when the inflation gets real bad, when the hyperinflation gets real bad, when the recession, you know, um, goes up, the unemployment rate, where crime goes up even more, martial law is, um, you know, invoked, less police officers. These nations, they're going to go back to their countries. They're going to be like, look, we already made enough money. Our kids is in college. You know, we, we're going to be able to live successful lives back in our countries. You know, let's get out of here before things get worse. Right. It says for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Yeah, because this place was established through the rape, robbery, and murder of the children of Israel. And the sins that it's talking about, it goes back to Lamentations, the fourth chapter, referring to you Edomites. Because you Edomites, you rule over Babylon the Great. All right? So, um, yeah, I just want to do that quick video. You know, uh, pay attention to the BRICS um, nations. All right? Because all of that is um, prophetic. So, Lord willing, he was edified. Shalom.